Corruption this. Corruption that. Corruption there. Corruption here. Corruption. What about it? Show me corruption and I'll show you the culprits. Yes, they're corrupt. But who do they corrupt? Yes, they're corrupt. But who corrupts them? Well, corruption is not only practiced by the politicians and the businessmen. Ah, well. It is also the culture of almost every Zambian. In fact, on behalf of all the youths whom our elders claim to be the future leaders of our country, it's time to take a radical approach towards the transformation of all Zambians in order to deal with this pandemic called corruption. It is important for every Zambian to understand that we cannot take this country to the next level until we make a deliberate decision to destroy all the corrupt and anti-progressive practices in our various fields of work. We call upon each and every one of us to run an introspection about our daily lives. How many of us can be comfortable and transparent enough to disclose the source of our success? Mm -hmm. How did you win that contract? How did you get that job? How did you acquire your driver's license? How did you get that promotion? How did you get those high grades at college? And how do you always find yourself at the front of every long queue? Every, every successful corruption, corruption practitioner, practitioner. Started their grooming from somewhere. The home, the church, the mosque, the community, the college, the school, the NGOs. So to claim that government is corrupt, it is proof of how corrupt the citizens are. Yes, the leadership of the country is the reflection of the people. Meaning that if you want to know how corrupt a leadership is, just take a look at what the citizens are doing. Yes, take a look at yourself also. You, you. Yes, you. You are probably contributing to the destruction of Mother Zambia. So beat it. Beat 